Now, the Wabash Valley's most watched newscast continues with Storm Team 10 Chief Meteorologist Kevin Ordrick, certified by the American Meteorological Society. Well, let's just take a look here at the old Storm Team Fury. Uh, we have the triple scan going on, and I was telling you that we have a chance for rain this weekend, and actually, this rain is moving in a little ahead of schedule, at least from what I thought. And within this area, we might have some thunder and lightning. Nothing severe at this point. There was a severe thunderstorm watching effect for part of Illinois. That has been canceled. So we do have this line of clouds coming in. And so later tonight, don't be surprised if you hear some thunder or hear some rain. The thing about it is that uh, this rain is going to be like, it rained at my house, I think it was yesterday or the day before. It, it, all it did was just make it steamy. You know, just everything steamed up. And that may be the case tonight. It's 77 right now. Paris has 78 degrees. And it feels like it's 82 here in Terre Haute. Robinson feels like it's 82. And Mattoon feels like it's 79. Uh, the dew point right now is 74 here in Terre Haute. That's a high dew point. And Lafayette, the dew point is 76. So anytime you get above 70 with dew points, or even into the upper 60s, that's uncomfortable. And there is no wind. Uh, with the exception of Mattoon, we have a 12-mile-per-hour breeze, but that's because of some of the wind that's coming out of these storms. Now, these storms themselves that we see here, this line of thunder showers is actually ahead of the cold front. And so what happens is air flows out of this second line of storms here. Air flows out of there and lifts up and causes these storms to start to develop out, of, out ahead of that. And so that's why you have one, two areas of rain. So this one passes through, and then this is the cold front here. In Minneapolis, it's 73. In Fargo, it's 72, but Billings, it's 59 degrees. And so what we may get out of this, this whole thing, really, is not so much a cool down in temperature as much as it is going to be a little shift in the direction of the wind and a little change in the quality of the air, the texture of the air. And so what we have through tomorrow evening, is a chance for showers and thunder showers into the first part of the day on Sunday. But then this cold front goes through uh, during the morning hours on Sunday, and then we get a little bit fresher air, slightly cooler, but hopefully much less humid. And so I think that's what we can really look for as we get to the uh, overnight tonight. So an overnight low of 71, very warm and humid, and storms are possible. You saw them on the Storm Team Fury. High tomorrow of 95. Partly cloudy, hot and humid. Some afternoon storms are possible. And then for tomorrow night, maybe a better chance for scattered storms as that front approaches. And then on Sunday, we'll look for a high of 88 degrees and a low Sunday night of 65. That's when you'll really notice a change in the atmosphere. Patrice?